Okay, guys. Perfect. Welcome. It's so great to have you. We are here for the book gathering with Dory. What's your name again? I don't know. I think it's Tara. Tara, so. that's it. <laughs> One day I'll be on the screen, Dory. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days. I'll have to promote you. We all have a goal, right? That's right. <laughs> Her goal is to get on the screen. Okay, get on the screen. <laughs> All right. So what are we talking about today? We were talking about making your website work for you. That's so exciting because yep. you know what? Most websites stink. They do. They suck mm -hmm. horribly. They are. <laughs> <laughs> I love assessing websites because I get to put my gloves on and <laughs> you get to beat them up a little bit, huh? I have seen you beat a couple of websites up here and there. Yowza. Oh, where's Sarah? She's coming. Here she comes. All right. So we are live. And today, again, we are going to be talking about how to make money with your website and how to make money really while you're sleeping, too, because mm -hmm. that's the beautiful thing about online is that no matter whether you're awake or asleep, whether your clients are also awake or asleep or a prospect, they're always able to see what you're up to. So it's a beautiful thing. Yes. And I mean, that's really most people like us who are business, mm -hmm. when we're looking at websites, we're doing it when we're at home, usually that's after right. they're, they're already closed. So it's so important. Very, very, very true. Mm -hmm. So this is a very important chapter, you guys, all kidding aside, this is probably one of the most important things because you could have the most beautiful facility, great team, all that wonderful stuff but people are, are more likely to find you online before they find you anywhere else. So if you're not aware of whether you're capturing their attention, whether you're getting them to opt in, make an enticing offer, if you're not doing any of these things, the problem I see right now with most websites is they're nothing but an online brochure. They just give you all kinds of information, call it a day. And the other problem we see all the time with everyone's website almost, is they all look the same. They do. They all have the same stock images. Like you, you see, it's so funny. You see the stock images, favorite girls, because they would be on every website. We can we recognize them. Oh, yes, here she is again. <laughs> you literally can recognize them. So what we want to do today is uh, give you some great strategies that you can actually put to good use immediately and really make a difference with your whole online positioning that you're trying to make a good impression on your consumers and position you as an expert. So that's basically what we're going to talk about today. Uh, hopefully you have the book and you've read this chapter because it has a lot of great things in it. And if you don't have the book, you can get it on <clears throat> Amazon and, um, or you can go on inspiration management, but definitely go to Amazon that way you can leave an amazing review because it's my favorite. Um, and we'll ship it right to you. So yeah, yeah absolutely. And Dory, you know, one thing I love is I love how you say the title of this chapter is your website working for you 24 right. seven, mm -hmm. and then they're making money while they're sleeping. Yes. That's why I said, this is probably one of my favorite yeah. because, and the beautiful thing about this is once you put the main structure down, mm -hmm. then all you're doing is tweaking mm -hmm. as you go along. And that's another problem, actually. A lot of people build a website and then they don't touch it for five years. Yeah. And then we get on the phone or we're doing a Zoom and we're watching their website and they're like, I'm saying, well, how long ago was it that you did this website? Was it when the internet first launched? <laughs> oh. <laughs> or my favorite when you go to google their website and was that when up? al gore was running for Probably. president <laughs> i love my favorite we were searching for a site door and it popped up and says we're moving and i was like they're moving i didn't yeah. know they were moving yeah, but they, then they you, already moved it moved years like ago years ago and i was like oh well they're this moving. is a true story actually <laughs> this is somebody that we know and she's like, they're moving. I'm like, no, they're opening a third location. She's like, well, they're still saying they're moving. <laughs> anyway, those are the things that happen. We're being goofy today, but hey, you got to have fun, right? right? Why can't you right. work if you can't have fun? That's right. So if this is your first time. Yes. So if you are joining us live from Facebook, Instagram, Zoom, YouTube, 
And it's your first time joining us. Number one, make sure you ring the bell while you're on um, YouTube so that you can get notified every time we go live here in our studio because Dory takes us live right from the studio. Uh, make sure you're following us on Instagram. And one thing I have to tell everybody is, you know, we're still giving away that millionaire circle. That's right ticket. That's right. And so now that you're live, one thing you should definitely do is comment, share and like our post so that you can get entered. So Dory is hosting um, the millionaire circle and you're going to be discovering the TMS TMSP system. This ticket is valued at over $3,000. So you have to get your hands on it. She's going to teach you how to um, market how to target, target market, market sell, sell and profit. profit from the affluent. I know them. they're just going in a, it, it's out of brain. order. That's okay. Just a little out of order. Yeah. So, but make sure you're following us so you can be registered to win the millionaire circle. That's good. So. And we have something else that's going on. That's brand new. We're launching actually uh, day after tomorrow. And that's the recipes for recipes. success volume three. And this training is going to be ideal for your first level management teams. So definitely it will be a great thing for you to hop on. And of course, all members get, gain access for that complimentary as part of your membership. And if you're not a member already, then it's definitely something you should look into so you can provide your team, your management team with great tools to help them help you succeed. Because if you don't train your managers, then you're not going to be getting the results that you want. Yeah. All right. Are we ready to start talking about websites? We are. All right. So I'll ask you the first question. And it's probably one of the best questions is why do people need a website, Dory? Oh, my gosh. That's like if you look at your business as the body, the website is like the heart. <laughs> <laughs> that's how important it is. That's a good analogy for you because all your marketing efforts are going to come from all direction and they're all going to the heart. That's why you need a website. So whether you have an Instagram account, Facebook, if you're doing a post on Facebook, Instagram, if you're doing a YouTube video, whatever, all those marketing strategies, or if you're doing a billboard or a direct mail piece, all these different marketing mix or marketing strategies need to drive people to certain pages on your website. And that's why you need a great website because once they land on that, this is what we call actually point of entry. So you have your website and then people can actually come into your websites from different pages, depending on what marketing strategies you're using from different marketing mix. So whenever people land, it doesn't matter which page they're landing on, you definitely want to make a good impression. And that's why your website really is so important. You cannot have a business without a website. And we get people all the time. Well, I have a Facebook page. So yeah, you need a Facebook page. Well, I have an Instagram account. Everything is on Instagram. No, no, that's not how it works. Just like saying, yeah, I have an arm but it doesn't work because my heart is not pumping blood through it to make it move. No, it doesn't work that way. I really want you to take that analogy really seriously because truly your website is the heart of the business and everything should just be pumping in and out. That blood is pumping in and out with all the marketing strategies to let consumers know who you are, what you do and entice them to be part of your community. And that's why everybody needs a website. Well, that and different demographics of ages associate with different technology, right? So everybody so, associates with a website. Right, no, but that's why I'm saying that's why it's so important because yes. we all go through a different aspect of yes. technology. You might find someone from Instagram, but they're still gonna go to your website. Absolutely. Facebook, they're still well, gonna go to your website. Well, you need to lead them there. Correct. That's the most important thing. And the reason you want to leave them there is to take further action. And that's really why you need a website is to get further action from all your consumers or your prospects that you're trying to turn into a client or a consumer. Yes. Okay. So let's go on to what should the website help a business do? 
Um, actually, those are very important things. You really need a pen and a paper for that. Most importantly, your website needs to be able to generate leads for you. And if you're not generating leads with your website, then you're really missing out. So I'm just going to name them first and then we can dive into it. You have to be able to make money. So if you don't have an e-commerce component to your website, you're totally missing out, especially now with the coronavirus, like during the shutdown, all of our members, if they did not already have an online shopping cart, that was the first thing we told everybody to do, to set up some kind of a Shopify cart or some kind of an e-commerce so you can start selling online. So you definitely need to be able to make money. The other thing is that it serves as an educational platform for your clients. So you can tell them all about what you do and inform them and educate them. And then the last and most important is they need to be able to see you and position you as the experts that you are. But that's where things go wrong is because most people don't do these things. So we named four things that are so important to really your entire presence and your entire strategy online to convert visitors into clients. So we'll dive into it a little bit more but those are definitely the four things you need to have. Perfect. So I wrote those down as you suggested that they take a pen and paper. And there you that. go. <laughs> so I have my notes going right here. Even I too can still learn from this, right? And that's the nice thing about these uh, book gatherings that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you talked about breaking them down. Can we go back and definitely do that now and start with the generating the leads? You just mentioned it, but I know there's so much more yes. knowledge you have there. Yes. And we've spoke about this a little bit throughout different chapters in this book, but this is really where you can definitely get it cranking for you because visitors are coming to your websites. You know, people are searching, they're probably finding you. And once they find you, what are they doing? And there is one statistic that is so important for you to measure that most people do not measure, which really hurts. And that is how many people are coming, visiting the site, but then how many of those people that are visiting the site are actually giving you their information so you can be building your list. That's what we call an opt-in. Remember, we talked about during uh, the marketing section in this book. So if your website is not enticing people to opt in, to generate a lead, you're totally missing out the point of what this is really all about. So number one is lead generation and then being able to convert them. So, so let's say you had a thousand people visit your website. Well, how many out of those thousand people actually opted in, filled out a web form and you generated a lead? So are you converting at 5%, 10%, 20%? What percentage are you converting at? It looks like we have a question. We Say do. hi, Sarah. Uh -huh. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm in the back here. She's behind the scenes. I'm behind the scenes. Uh, Dory, Kate wants to know, um, are you talking about how many people visit that click on the booking link? No, it has nothing to do with the booking link. It has to do with generating leads because if I went and just clicked on your reservation link, that means I'm already a client most likely and I'm just reserving another appointment, right? Or if I'm a brand new client and I reserved an appointment, that's very good. So you need to see what conversion rate that is too. But even if they didn't reserve an appointment, if they're just browsing around your website, you want to be able to capture their information. And there are so many different ways you can capture people's information. And that's by making an enticing offer. We've given you the idea about the gift card many times. So you can use the gift card to entice them to opt in. You can do ask an expert. You can do download the book. Just like go to our website, <laughs> go to inspirationmanagement.com and see all the different opt-in opportunities that are right there on the homepage. You need to do the same thing. So if you don't have a book yet, you really should. You should go to the becomepublished.com and check out how you can have a book. But these are all enticing offers that people have on our website 
that allows us to generate leads. Like I didn't write my book to make money with my book, even though Amazon sends us a check all the time, but that's okay. But I wrote the book just to give it away for free for people like yourself so I can help the community. But while I'm helping the community, we're also helping ourselves because if you downloaded this book, obviously you own a medical spa, you might need some help after you've been reading. And that gives us the opportunity to help you more. Mm -hmm. And you need to do the same thing. So let's say you have an anti-aging clinic and you help people look absolutely amazing. And you happen to have a book on how to look beautiful at any age. So these people now, instead of just offering discounts, right? Now you can say, download my book. You just generated leads and then your team needs to be contacting those leads to convert them into a client. And that's what your website should do for you. So all your posts on Instagram, Facebook, billboards, direct mail, they drive them to your heart, right? The website. And then from there, they're being able to be enticed to give you their information so you can market to them in the future. And that's why a website is so important. And that's why number one is lead generation. And you know what the best part is about this, you guys? Is once the website is built, these are free leads. I mean, the only fulfillment on it is whatever you're going to give them. Like, what does it cost me to give somebody a book? Well, electronically, it's totally free but yet I gained their information. If they want us to send them a book, yeah, you pay for shipping and handling, but you got a hard copy book, so I'm still giving it to you for free. So those are the things that are so important to do for lead generation. Right. Well, and that also, I mean, as we know, gets you the affluent clients who are your ideal clients. Too. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one that's not opening a medical spa is going to read something pertaining to a medical spa, ideally. Right. So we're not just willy-nilly. And Dory had mentioned that we did discuss this. So if you have missed those chapters about marketing that she mentioned, those started on chapter five, you can go to inspiration management or our YouTube channel that you're on and watch. So they're all recorded for you to re-listen to. So please take advantage of re-watching that. So the second one um, that you mentioned earlier was making money online. So mm -hmm. can you elaborate a little bit further yeah. on that one? So this really, there are several different ways you can make money online. The no brainer of no brainers is selling gift cards. Okay. And that's, what's amazing to me, how many places, I mean, day spas are very good about that. So congratulations, but medical spas, I still see so many medical spas that do not sell gift cards. Like what the heck? And it's I, like the no-brainer. Like, are you crazy? That That's like a total name, no brainer. So if you don't have, purchase gift card buttons. And if you don't have purchase gift cards right on the home page for people to purchase gift cards, you're totally missing out. Because if you just think about just the main holidays and you send out an email blast to your database, and then again, you drive them to the heart, right? To the website, so you can sell them gift cards. So if nothing else, you gotta do that. So right now is your time. We have Valentine's Day coming That's up. Right. So Trust me, men want to get something nice for their wives, hit them on the heart, drive them a gift card. Well, actually, we have a whole strategy for that, by yeah. the way, that totally people miss out on. I don't have time to go into it right now, but th there are so many strategies with making money online that are so economical. They don't cost you hardly any money and they help you make tons of money. Those are my favorite strategies. <laughs> you you got to do stuff like that. So the gift card is the no brainer. And then the other thing that's so valuable for you, especially like right now, if you have the We Dare system that we teach where you do online consultations, especially now, you should really have that department up and running all the time. Just because we're in, in the coronavirus doesn't mean that you have to stop doing it once everything goes back to normal. So you should have online consultations reserved all the time. And then what you're doing is you're selling products from your shop with your online consultation. So having that online shop with all the products and you know, what's really nice. Uh, we just had on Meet the expert, we had Heather from Color Science 
there are so many clients right now or brands, I should say right now, business partners of ours like Color Science that do the fulfillment for you. I mean, we're talking about a no brainer. That is a no brainer, you guys. If you already have people coming to your website, you have traffic already coming. But if they're coming and leaving without taking any action, obviously your website stinks. It does. So, but if they're taking action, then your site is doing what it's supposed to do. But what's beautiful about companies like Color Science, you should go, once it's up, you should go to meettheexperts.com and check it out. They do the entire fulfillment for you. So even though they're on your website, and I'm not talking about where they leave your website and then go to theirs, it's seamless. They don't even feel like they're leaving your site at all. So you just click on one of their most popular uh, products is the sunscreen, the brush on sunscreen. So you can just buy it right from the shopping cart and you don't even have to deal with shipping because remember right. during the coronavirus, all of our members, they were selling like crazy mm -hmm. online sales and they were all complaining about the shipping fees. So if you don't wanna even pay shipping fees, just send them, just set up your shopping cart and then you just send them there for them to fulfill. Right. But you have to set up the shopping cart. Of so course. Even if you don't have a skincare yeah. line that has that availability, uh, one thing that we even did and so many members did, uh, Shopify. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing way to start generating that online revenue. Yeah, it's Perfect. super easy. Mm -hmm. really is, you guys. I mean, it's so nice to wake up in the morning, look in your inbox, and find receipts from your shopping cart from orders that were processed literally while you're sleeping. That's why the subtitle of this is make money while you're sleeping. Well, we make money while we're sleeping all the time because we walk in in the morning and there are receipts in our inbox from people that purchase things from our shop. And that's, you need to do the same thing. This is not rocket science, you guys. It's just a matter of taking the strategies and applying them. But if you don't apply them and your website is nothing but an online brochure and it hasn't been touched in five years, don't expect to capture visitors if you haven't touched it for that long. You, you, have, to, you have to show that you care and how you show you care is through freshening it up all the time. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, if they've seen it once and they keep seeing the same mm -hmm. images, they're gonna get a little bored. I don't think there is one day where my team does not go into our website and does something to No, me. because I, mean, I know what we're doing. Right, like, Trust me, we're in it all the time. It's like every, every day there's something to be done. Like we just put the new webinar we're doing. We're doing a complimentary yeah. webinar on how to build, uh, and it's a preview for the recipes for success four essential strategies to build a high performing team. We're doing a complimentary webinar. So if you go to our homepage right now, right on the homepage, you'll see that webinar that was put on there. Now, if we were doing a webinar, but I didn't have a team that will go and update the homepage, then we look stale. We look not up to date. And that's not a good image. It's not a good image. Sometimes we go like we're already right. We we're, we're done with the holidays. And you go to some people's websites and they still have oh. Christmas promotions. Like, what the heck? Come on, you need to get with the program. Okay. Get in the 21st century with us. <laughs> Is that what century we're in? I think so. <laughs> I don't know, 22nd, 23rd. We'll just keep going here. <laughs> so, all right. So, number three, you mentioned earlier, Dory, was educate consumers. Mm -hmm. Share yeah. with us more on that. Actually, that's a perfect lead in into what I just said. So we do a lot of education, right? Because through education, you can open up people's eyes and heart to what they're not doing and entice them again to realize that there is a better way. And you do that through education. But you know, again, I go to people's websites. I don't see any webinars. I don't see any case studies. You barely even see before and after pictures. I mean, what are you educating me on? Nothing. <laughs> All you're doing is again, telling me about your treatments and God forbid, we might have problem solution, benefits, testimonial, call to action. It, it just doesn't happen. 
there is a structure to each page and what you should have on it. And a lot of times we don't even see it reserved now. No. Like they don't even exist. I think usually the one thing that points out to me is the price. It's like yeah, so they big. They have the so price so big like, before, so before the, the explanation. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. um, so yeah. this let, let me tell you how much, because that's the most important mm -hmm. thing. Not well, about that, the results. That's the stupidest thing. <laughs> but usually that's what you do see. <laughs> so don't do that. You, you need to educate people. So on your pages, you should have a video like this. So if I land on your Botox page, let's say you do an Instagram post about Botox or you're showing uh, some before and after or whatever. So once you entice me to come to your website on the Botox page, you need to tell me about Botox, right? In a consumer language, not in a medical. This is not a science project in consumer language you know, what Botox does, the benefit of it, the results, here's a case study, success stories, testimonials, whatever you want. And if you're doing that as a video from you, like, welcome to XYZ Med Spa. I'm Dori Sukup. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the benefits of having Botox. I want you to meet, and then you do your case study, and you have a picture, let's say, of Tara. When Tara first came to us, she was really unhappy with the lines around her forehead, crow's feet. She had all these different concerns. Here's the treatment that she experienced. She had Botox, she had fillers, she had a peel. And look at Tara now. And don't show me Tara right after you did her peel. That's stupid. You want me to, you want her to come back, show beautifully made up Tara. And then here's how she looks like now. You too want to look this beautiful? Then you do your call to action. This is all on video, right? This is all on video. This is educating through selling. That's really what this is. So you want to look as beautiful as Tara? Go ahead and reserve your consultation now. That's a Botox page. But now what do I see? One paragraph. And you see the same before and after from from the from vendor. Botox yeah, from Elegant. Yeah. Yeah. That all and, of and they're like the and they're like this big. Yes. That all that, they're, they're only like this here and this. this and just needles. come on, guys. And needles. needles. Come on. Come on. You got to get better at this. Got to get better at this. This is not again. This is not that complicated. You just need to follow what I'm telling you so you can differentiate yourself truly stand out because you know how many people do what I'm telling you to do? Probably only our members because we review website after website after website and they all need help. And that's the sad part though. It is because it's all fixable. It is. It's all so fixable. But you know what? They're more interested in going and buying a $100,000 laser instead of investing $6,000 in fixing their website so they can have the laser be occupied. But you know what ends up happening with the laser because the website stinks? It's a coat hanger. Yeah. I go into places and they have two cool sculpting machines and they're in the closet. I swear to God, I cannot make this up. Oh no, I remember you had- They're in the closet, out. two cool sculpting machines in the closet. Like who does that? Who does that? Not even a page on the website about cool sculpting. Like why? I know I get excited, you guys, but really I want you, I want to shake you up because if you don't fix this, then the competition is going to crush you. You know, I'm doing a mastermind uh, Zoom meeting, our Brewing Brilliance tomorrow for our members. And the subject tomorrow is how to do YouTube videos. And I went on YouTube today. Every once in a while, I go and I search just to see who's becoming edgy in our industry. And I punched in uh, medical spas, medical spa treatment videos. That's what I punched in in YouTube. And, you know, I started seeing all these videos that are showing up. Some of them were from five years ago. Some of them was from a year ago, two years ago. They're all like so old. And, and I'm thinking to myself, why aren't people doing more videos? So people are searching, right? But instead of seeing new and innovative videos on how to help the consumers, you're seeing either nothing or garbage, not very good. So when you're doing 
online exposure for yourself, for your business. All these YouTube videos, once you shoot them, they need to go on every single page of your website. Start with the welcome video, right? Telling people, which is non-existing again. Um, you have to have on each page, I would do a video. And then I would do a video for your products. Now, I know I'm asking a lot, but even if you just start somewhere, right? Start somewhere. I started somewhere years ago. We have hundreds and hundreds of videos now. But what's nice about YouTube, you guys, and doing videos and making your online presence with your website, because the, the videos can live on your website and on YouTube, of course, but you're able to really engage people with that and educate them. So you educate them, you engage them, they get to see you as the expert that you are, and then they take action. That's the formula. And that's what I'm, I'm sharing with uh, everybody tomorrow is the structure of the videos for the pages of the website. So you can capture their attention. They can see that, you know what? You are the only choice for me. Right. And that's the problem right now. There are so much, there's so much competition out there. Um, if, if you don't grab their attention within seconds, they're gone. Right. They're gone to somebody else. And that's not what you want. I think you should definitely take a look, assess where you are right now. As a matter of fact, we have an assessment on our website for a uh, website assessment. Mm -hmm. So you can go to inspiration management, take your website assessment and see you know, look at it with brand new eyes, because when you look at it every day or whenever you look at your website, you need to look at it with brand new eyes and then see if you're doing some of these things that we're talking about. Yeah. So, Dory, you, you mentioned the mastermind and Dr. Ward typed in here and they said, is this a private event you call the Brewing Brilliance? Yes. Oh. So, yeah, Brewing Brilliance is a monthly Zoom meeting that we do for members only where I share very advanced methods to help you reach the millionaire circle. Yep. So that's uh, what we do. Definitely private. Mm -hmm. Telling you, she doesn't sleep ever. So our, <laughs> I mean, she just go, go, go. I sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think number four, you had talked about position you as the expert, engage your consumers, and you kind of wrap that into number three with the videos and the mm -hmm. website. And again, mm -hmm. Dory mentioned videos and we did chapter seven, which was all about video. So mm -hmm. you have to go watch that. If you want to learn more about what she's speaking about, go rewatch the book gathering mm -hmm. for chapter number seven. Or go to our YouTube channel and learn from it because yeah. it gives you an idea of, you know, what, and tomorrow, actually this um, YouTube, the video that we're doing with the Brewing Brilliance group, our mastermind group, it's going to be a two part series because it's one thing to do the video and it's another thing to get eyeballs on it. Mm -hmm. So it, there's a lot that goes into what you need to say under the video. So it gets to be seen, you know, like doing this Instagram live or Facebook live or YouTube live, like everything we're doing right now. I don't see why you can't do you can uh, have a a chair you can do a demonstration you can do a case study you can do a product launch you can do a treatment launch you can do all these different things yeah. there is nothing um, that will stop you from doing any of these things just a matter of doing it and really they could do it anywhere you can get one of those pop-up you know that has their logos that mm -hmm. we call a step and repeat and even if they're mm -hmm. sitting at their home and recording these educational videos mm -hmm. they could do that mm -hmm. so and it just yeah. takes a little bit of practice. I mean, I'm still super nervous in front of it, but I mean, it's, I mean, when you're sitting at a desk with yours truly, how can you not be nervous? Right. <laughs> at least that's for me, <laughs> but practice makes perfect. Right. Yeah, that's right. So after they've done all these things, story, they have their website. How do you measure if the website is actually working? And what should they be looking for? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's funny because that's another big mistake people make is they don't even look at their Google Analytics. And this is totally free, right? This is Google. All you have to do is Google Analytics in Google. <laughs> Just go to Google and punch in Google Analytics and you can set it up and it's totally free. And it just informs you about how good your website is performing. Like how many visitors are coming to your website? 
Is it like the desert? <laughs> it's deserted? <laughs> Are you like in never, never land? Nobody is finding you? If that's the case, that's a problem. Or are you getting visitors, but you're not converting them? So I want to know, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to know which pages are being visited. How long are people staying on each page? Uh, are they opting in? Are, am I gathering their information? Are they buying something? What are they doing once they get there? That's like if somebody comes over to your house, are they coming in saying, hello, can I have some water? What do you have going on here? Or do they walk in and walk out? Right. Well, if they walk in and walk out, something is wrong with the house. It either stinks <laughs> or you're not friendly yeah. or you're not attracting them or you didn't offer them anything and they leave. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Or you're not welcoming. Yeah. Like the welcome video. Ex exactly. You need to welcome them. You need to make them feel just like they're coming to your house. Seriously, I'm joking, but this is the truth. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> I have a weird sense of humor today. <laughs> okay. So that's what you want to do. You want to welcome them and make sure that they come in and they browse around. They can sit on the couch, relax, have a glass of wine. But it is true that people that feel welcome somewhere refer friends, they mm -hmm. refer their family. And if they don't feel welcome, I'm not going to tell my sister to go somewhere. I'm, I'm not. Well, so, it's, I mean, it's, it is the truth. It's all about your image. And again, if they see you like, you know, I was reviewing someone's website not too long ago and it's a doctor. And I kept looking to see the doctor and they had a stock image of the doctor and it's a doctor. Like what? <laughs> I almost this is a brand new member of ours wow. actually. They just joined and I'm I'm doing my first call with them. I'm like, okay, this has to change like right now. We're getting rid of this stock image of a doctor and you're the doctor. Your image needs to be here. But you know what? This happens. I'm not exaggerating. This happens all the time. You guys need to divorce stock images. Mm -hmm. You just you cannot have them. You need to divorce them. And it, this is just so easily done to do a photo shoot. Like, could you imagine if you came to my website and somebody else was holding my book? <laughs> I'll be here. I'll be like, <laughs> we'll be like, what? What happened? Like, what? <laughs> what the heck? Dory called out that day of the photo shoot. So I'm going to stand in and take a photo of her book. Or get a stock image. Stock image. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cardboard. Uh, get a redhead. Another redhead. Another red. <laughs> yeah. We so have pair two around here somewhere. You you just yeah, we do have the red two. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll anyway, have to bring her out uh, one day. Is everybody still with us or are they leaving? <laughs> Way, get, get, give us thumbs up, laugh, give us hearts. <laughs> but you know what's funny? When you laugh, you remember that. Yeah. You really do. Mm -hmm. Like you remember laughing in different Like situations. I remember going to that site and seeing a fake doctor when it's a doctor. Yeah. I mean, that just like hit me like a ton of bricks. When you talked about the cool sculptings being in the closet, I remember when you were on site and yeah. you called me that afternoon. I was like, how was it? And you're like, oh, I found two cool sculptings in the closet. Yeah. I was like, what happened? They didn't want to come out. Like <laughs> they were in the closet. So then now you talk to the doctor and they're like, oh, that's in the lobby. Yeah. People get to look at it, see oh it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But, it's very interesting what, um, what people do, but yeah, you, you gotta do that. You gotta look at your Google an analytics really, and see how many people are visiting. And if they're not, then really there are solutions, but don't get ripped off with uh, search optimization companies because they are animals. They will just eat you up. So be careful. I mean, well, you have to do original SEO for sure, but then the rest of the SEO should really be content. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about doing your newsletter. We're talking about doing the videos, putting up the case studies, all the things that I just talked about. You need to keep feeding the monster because the website lives on Google, right? But on the internet and Google loves new content. They love it if your website is, is important, it's relevant to what we're talking about, right? And what you do. 
So the more content you can put on your website to be found, the better off you are. And it's just- and the more you log into, <clears throat> even if it's just to replace a photo, it recognizes that, right? Mm -hmm. She calls it like a monster, considered as like the cookie monster, mm -hmm. right? The more you feed it, the more it's gonna feed you back and yeah. move you up in Google. Yeah. So, I mean, it recognizes if you log in and update a photo, it knows the last time you logged mm -hmm. in. Yeah, that's why you need to always have your hand in it. In the, you need to have somebody that keeps updating it. Mm -hmm. Don't be thinking that, you know, it's built and that's it. No, you have to continue putting content on there. And the best way to do content really is through either written or video. Like we do the Dory talk now. That's one of our new shows that we're doing instead of doing just your typical newsletter. So every issue now has a video and a written version of the actual newsletter. So, you know, we, we do it all. You, you just, you can, hey, listen, people copy us all the time. Yeah. So you just need to go and learn. I don't mind you learning. That's what we do. We teach other people how to become more successful. So, and I really want to make a positive impact on your business and make sure that you're doing all the right things. So you too can be in the millionaire circle. There's no reason why you guys are not making millions. I don't care where you live, where you are. And it all starts really with your online presence because that's where everybody is gonna find you. They're gonna find you online before they find you anywhere else. Uh, the phone is almost an attachment to the body now. Everybody has their phone in their hand. They're going to bed with their phones, you know? So the, as long as they can find you and you can convert, you're golden. If they can't find you, and you're not converting either way, you're, you're in trouble, you're in trouble. And you know, that's what's sad is that most people have built all these beautiful medical spas and then the rooms are sitting there empty. Mm -hmm. It just really, it breaks my heart. Well, and then you go look at their website and they're like, no well, that's wonder. That's what Dr. Ward is saying. They're like, um, I'm looking at my Google Analytics and I have hundreds of visitors, but I have nobody in my office. Yeah. That that's, means the they're not stuff. opting in. There's no enticing mm -hmm. offer. Right, that or the guest relations don't know how to properly follow up on those leads yeah. when they mm -hmm. are coming in. Yeah. So there is steps here. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. I mean, good for you for having hundreds of people. Now we have to figure out well, what hundreds of visitors doesn't mean hundreds of opt-ins. There's right. a big difference between the two. You can have thousands of visitors, but if they're coming and leaving, you got nothing. That doesn't do you any good. And, uh, you know, and there are some other things that you can do, like you can go into Facebook, get a pixel. I'm getting a little technical here. And you can do retargeting campaigns. That's what I would suggest to Dr. Ward, who's asking these questions. If they have that many visitors mm -hmm. and they're not opting in, then you can do retargeting campaigns with Facebook using a pixel because it tracks every IP address that came to your website. And then you can do a retargeting campaign with an offer to entice them to go to a landing page, get that offer and opt in. Right. So there are solutions. Mm -hmm. They just have to do them. Yeah. And the thing is, is you can get nitty gritty if you want, like you can retarget just mm -hmm. for pool sculpting. You mm -hmm. can retarget for everything. So mm -hmm. finding out what they're interested in. Yeah. Well, you do yeah. that by different pixels on yeah, different absolutely. pages. That's right? why I was trying not to get too technical. Yeah but you, you, there are opportunities. But I, I mean, I do, I recommend what Dory said. The first step is to go to our website and fill out the website assessment and actually have a real website assessment. Don't let just Google tell you because mm -hmm. then Google's not looking at these opportunities mm -hmm. that we can visually see. Well, nor do, they know the, nor do they know the medical exactly. spa industry and what you do or right. not do, so definitely. But our company has brand new eyes on your website that we haven't mm -hmm. seen before. So yeah. we can point those out to you. Mm -hmm. So I have a question here, Dr. 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 Words like, um, so now do you guys build websites, Dory? Actually, we do. Yes. Yeah. We do. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> we can fix you up. Absolutely. And you know, and we're very, I mean, it's reasonable. Listen, here's the fact. Anybody can build a website, mm -hmm. but building a website that will work for you is totally different. Like anybody can pull up a WordPress template, throw a couple of pictures up, a couple of pages and call it a website. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about there is a science in making a website work for you. 
And we know that science. And you know what bugs me a lot of times, Tara, is that we end up teaching other marketing companies how to do their job. And I hate that. It just drives me crazy. Like, yeah. screw that shit. Right? <laughs> like, I'm not going to do that anymore. Nope. So if you want your website to work for you and work well and generate leads and generate money and engage and educate and position you as an expert, then you need to call my team and let them set you up with a website. Because if you're not happy with what you have right now, or just start with an assessment, you can reserve a success planning session and we can look at it, give you the honest truth. Like we, we have a brand new member actually that joined last week and she had a website and it actually looked okay, but she's missing all these important things we're talking about. So I'm not going to tell her, oh, you need a whole new website. We're just going to fix what's not working. So don't let, you don't, sometimes you don't have to start from scratch. Sometimes you might have good foundation. I don't know. But either way, one thing you can count on us is that we are not highway robbers. I mean, we're not going to just tell you, you need a website just so we can make money. We're going to be very honest with you and tell you exactly what it is that you need. And that you can always count on from us. Amen. Amen. I feel like I went to church just now. That's right. I did go to <laughs> church. <laughs> we all need to be praying for more love right now. Absolutely. I agree. 100%. God bless America. Let's pray for more love and pray. That's the important part. Mm -hmm. It's all about love right now. Mm -hmm. So back onto this website, I have a member and they're saying, um, Dory, I know how you feel about stock images. You've already shared it multiple mm. times. Yeah. But what's your <laughs> next best option oh. if they have stock images right now? Yeah, I would just do a photo shoot. And you know what, though, don't do a photo shoot without talking to us because most people don't know how to do a photo shoot. Most people do a photo shoot of an empty reception desk, an empty chair, an empty treatment room. Mm -hmm. And that is not what we're talking about here. We're selling experiences. We're selling results. We're selling anti-aging, youthfulness, weight loss, sexual health. That's what you're selling, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to show that I can relate to what you're selling. So you need, you can hire a model, a man and a woman, not 20 years old, right? No, that's not your client. So first figure out who is your ideal target market. You hire two models that fit the image of your target market. And then you hire a photographer to come in and do an entire experience. Like I would show them checking in. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> then I would show them having a consultation. Click, click. And then I would show them in the treatment room. More clicking. And then I would show them uh, checking out with their retail product in their hand. So if you do that, and then you're taking me through the process. Now Relatable. I can, and it's in your place, not mm -hmm. some stupid fictional space. It's your place. So you're killing two birds with one stone. You're getting to show people that they can relate. Oh, I can see myself there. You're showing them your place, which to me, I will never go into a medical spa unless I see what it looked like inside. And do you know how many places you go to on their website? And they don't even have one picture of what their place looks like on the inside. Like, And usually that's a high tell sign that they are embarrassed to show it or they just don't know better sometimes. True. So those are the things. So I would just do a photo shoot with models. Don't do it with your team members. That's another killer. God forbid, if they leave you, now you have a useless video you paid $10,000 for that you can't do anything with. I just had a member do this. Well, she the, the, called me and she said, they didn't like how they looked on it. Now I have to redo it. <laughs> But you know what? <laughs> the part is, and she's like, I should have went with what you told me and to hire a model in the first place. And now I wouldn't have to redo it. And I said, well, we all learn from our mistakes. You need she's to, you need to listen. We, we've seen it all. We've been there. That We've been doing this for 20 years. There is nothing that we have not seen. I'm telling you what you need to do. You just have to go do it. 
So just hire a model, hire a photographer, videographer, let them come and, and do your shoot. And now you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. That's what I would do. And you know, she's not kidding when she says we've literally seen it and heard it all. The thing is about the way we position it to you is we're going to help you reach it faster without a void with voiding all these mistakes that other people have spent thousands of dollars mm -hmm. mistakenly on, unfortunately. So we're going to help you reach success the fastest way possible. Hallelujah. That's what we're going to do. That's right. So, you know, and earlier we talked about, you know, making sure they had to have every platform. This was kind of before we started, we were just kind of going back and forth that they can't just have Instagram. They can't just have Facebook. Mm -hmm. They have to have all of it yes. in order to make this whole website working for you actually work for you. Absolutely. I mean, even like when, <clears throat> when people do billboards, uh, like Estique, when mm -hmm. we did their holiday billboard, remember yeah. everybody wanted, they wanted to give everybody a gift. Yeah. And it was a call to action to go to the website, to opt in and get the gift. So it just makes so much sense. And it's so different than everybody else. Mm -hmm. And that's really the key. You know, again, it's all about positioning you as the expert. And if I come to your site and you're nowhere to be found, you have no videos, you have no before and after pictures that are good, you don't have any articles, you don't have any of the things that I feel are very important to your success and are huge differentiation points, then you're not going to win. The competition is going to win. And you know what? One thing I was going to say, actually, while I was looking, uh, people are catching on with doing videos. There are some that are, you know, they're doing not so much on YouTube, but more like Instagram Live and Facebook Live. But you know what? We get more phone calls. I mean, Sarah can tell you, we, we just signed up a member, a high achiever uh, for our high achiever is not cheap. It's $3,000 a month. And the way she found us was on YouTube. That's how she found us. And this happens over and over and over. So it's either a video on our website or it's a video on YouTube. And even if it is on social media, usually we have our tree on our Instagram or Facebook links. So we're leading people as a company. We lead people to either our YouTube or the website. Those are our favorite two places to lead people. Why? Because when they come to the YouTube channel and they see literally hundreds of videos, what are you thinking right away? You're an expert. Like you guys have your stuff together. Look at, look at all the work you've done already. So I come to your YouTube channel. I see two videos. And one of them is like six years old. Yeah. <laughs> they open the YouTube channel. So it's really, it's very, very important to really be on top of your game with that. But you know what the problem is with many people is they're trying to do so many things. Mm -hmm and they get so busy they get so tied up with different things and this takes a back seat right. which it really should be the front, front seat. seat and it's really sad because it's just yeah. it's not a one well, part of that comes to not only did we shoot the videos but we actually put thought below the content below it which mm -hmm. is that second step and you mm -hmm. find most people they just they're just like post mm -hmm. and then they don't take the time to do that next step yeah which is it's google Google's loving it. That's right. You know, so yeah. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. excited to have that new high achiever and I can't wait to help them start yeah. making their first videos. It's yeah, going to be amazing. I love it. So, well, we're getting to that point where we're going to have to leave you guys, but we'll be back in two weeks live, That's but right. we'll be live for that preview webinar that we're doing on Wednesday. So you can come right back here on Facebook, Instagram, Zoom, YouTube. Actually, we would at. rather if you go register for it. Mm -hmm. So go register on the website. You'll get to see the process. Actually, this is a great learning experience for you. So go to inspirationmanagement.com. On the homepage, you have a what's new section. And on the new what's new section, you'll be able to click on the video and it takes you to a landing page. This is a great learning opportunity for you to follow the process I'm teaching here because we practice it. I'm not telling you to do something that we don't practice. So you go to the landing page and then you put in your information so we can send you a Zoom link and you can jo join us live on Zoom.
And that's really what you should do too when you host your educational events. And if you don't have a platform yet, by the way, for the event, uh, we did a webinar with Stephen Handysides. He has a brand new virtual event platform that is so unique and different that allows you to do events. You get to see the webinar if you want to. Uh, and it's so economical. And talking about differentiation, it's a beautiful platform. Actually, we're gonna use it for the Millionaire Circle webinar uh, because you don't wanna just invite people for just a plain Zoom if you're doing an event for your medical spa or spa. So this platform is amazing. So if you go again, either to YouTube or to the Inspiration Management page, you get to watch that webinar as well. Perfect. So we're gonna, if you haven't yet registered for that Millionaire Circle ticket, make sure you do that. So you're going to like, share, comment on one of our social medias, follow our YouTube channel, ring that notification bell. It's all about the bell because you don't wanna miss this education. Or give us a lot of you. thumbs up right yes. now. Give us thumbs up, hearts, likes, waves. <laughs> so everything will get you registered thank you we, we love you too let the love be everywhere this month yes that's why we like the heart keep the hearts coming so i'm going to end with the best part that i love about each chapter is dory gives you your shortcuts to success so we don't want to miss those so your shortcut to success for your website working for you 24 7 is assess your website performance Run your Google Analytics report and assess its performance. Monitor your online numbers, the number of visitors, conversion rate from lead to visit, revenue per visit, cost per lead, start blogging, start a newsletter, publish content on your website, do videos, have an online shopping cart, which we discussed, selling gift cards, very simple to implement, and have online reservations. And I have to tell you, so many people missed that one. Online yep. reservations. And these things are, again, shortcuts to success. And they're very easy for you to sit down, get the tools you need, and implement them right away. And don't forget to go have that website assessment where we can help you review your website. I know Sarah um, reviews websites all the time and does website assessments. So she'll be looking forward to doing yours as well. Woohoo! Yes. And then next chapter 11. Wow. Can't believe we're already to chapter 11 mm -hmm. is building a high performing team. Mm -hmm. So high performing. And then it's for your guest relations team next week. That's yes. who we're focusing on all about the guest relations. We're going to take them from being order takers to revenue generators, because right now most guest relations teams have no idea what to do. So we teach something called the three C's, which is call management, check-in and check-out. Those are the systems that we'll be talking about and giving you some ideas on what you can expect from your guest relations team and how much they contribute to your success. It's huge, 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 huge. It is. Yes, all right. So we're, we're excited. So we we'll see them then. And so then we'll stay connected mm -hmm. and... Um, and then don't forget, we'll see you back in two weeks on Monday again for chapter 11. And as Dory mentioned before, she mentioned like chapter fives and chapter seven. You can go back to rewatch so that you can get up to date on those marketing chapters. Or you can just become a member there and get the whole business model. <laughs> we have a, diff a million different options, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, make sure you do the things we talked about and get started at least. Reach out. We're here to help you stay safe and healthy. Spread the love again this month. And until next time, stay inspired. Bye now. Let's tune them out. Nice. <laughs>